Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to talk to you guys about a brand that I've spoken to you guys about before and before they only had lipsticks, lip glosses, and nail polishes. But ever since they've been expanding their range, um, I'm talking about Mented Cosmetics. So it was created by these two best friends in college and they just could not find the perfect nude shade for themselves as women of color. So they went out on their own and they set up a whole company of just like nudes. So no matter what color you are, what shade range you're in, like you're going to be able to find a perfect nude for you. So these are their lipsticks. It's Mented Cosmetics and they have become my absolute favorite. They came out with um with uh, highlighters, they came out with a palette that I'm obsessed with. Literally, even when I do clients' makeup, I'm always using this palette. I'm always using their lipsticks. Like, they're my number one go-tos for myself or for clients. So, everyone has been ranting and raving that they want them to come out with something specific. Foundations. So, this is Skin by Mented Cosmetics super excited for them this is amazing they came out with a whole range well I shouldn't say a whole range because actually I'm the lightest so if you're someone of color you're gonna find your shade here so I'll probably insert a picture of the actual shades because you're not really gonna be able to see it here but I am the lightest shade that they would work for at the moment they will be expanding their range to lighter but for right now they wanted to focus on women of color because that's something that definitely lacks in foundations and makeup wise as far as not being able to cater to all the shades of women of color so they sent me here three foundations they're actually foundation sticks and a brush so this is one of them I'll show you all of them but for me this is the foundation stick so you just roll it up so this is the foundation now I didn't even notice this until I got there um, I went to their launch party look how much product is in there that's a lot of product okay you guys so this is the lightest shade that they have this is L10 so they have L10, and then I'll show you the other two, which are L20 and T20. So those are darker shades, but I'm going to show you exactly how I even use all the shades. And there was the top. So these are three of the shades. Now let's talk about the formulation. Oh, let me show you the brush. So this is their brush. It's nice and sturdy, and it's very, very dense brush, which is really going to help move around the product of a stick. Sometimes brushes come with foundations, and they're just either too flimsy, they don't have enough brush, you know, hairs, they're not dense enough, um, or they're just too hard. I feel like this is the perfect medium where it's not too soft, but it's not too hard. So it's really going to move around and blend that product in really seamless. I thought we would just go ahead and do a, um, I'm going to do a swatch for you. Um, I'm going to swatch them right here on my face. I have absolutely nothing on my face, but this huge other world that just you know let, let's just say stress does not look good on me okay people the coverage is about I say it can be light to full because you can build it up I think that doesn't just sit on the skin it kind of like really infuses with your skin where you don't really notice you even have that much makeup on but the coverage is there um, if you have I wouldn't say this is matte I would not say this is dewy I want to go more with satin they describe it as just very natural and skin like but um, if you are someone who's on the oily side I would definitely recommend um, a oil control primer before you use this and a good setting powder so this is L10 so we're just gonna swipe that here and you can see like my skin is 
whoa it's there's so much discoloration there's so much dark circles and that one swipe although not blended of course it has that coverage you can't see my skin um, so this is L20 let me move my mirror closer so this one's much darker and this is T20 I actually found myself using all of them to first do my foundation with this shade and then with this shade I actually used it to contour and then this one I was actually able to make it more um, how can I say just more precise with my contour just to add it give a little bit more drama on my contour so these are the three shades now I'm gonna clean these off and I'm going to show you half and half so I'll be right back so I took off these two swipes I'm gonna go ahead with our L10 because that's my shade and I'm just going to pop this all over I'm actually gonna just do half my face so that's easier for you to um, get an idea of the coverage so this is one layer for us okay so I just smush that all over it now I'm going to go in with their brush and I like to do a padding like to really pat it into the skin and then I'll go in with some swirls to blend So with just one layer, I think it's pretty obvious the change that it does on your skin. It has covered up, look at this, like just the eye alone is like, give me the whole pack, Let, give me lifetime supply, okay people? It still looks like skin, it's not dewy, but it just looks really natural. So you see like there's a sheen to it, but it's not anything that's too like, glowy or sheeny it just if you look at this side of my face which I have no product I I still have that shine and that glow and it's just able to peek through this foundation so even close up let's see like it just covered up so much and it just looks like my skin it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything so let's do this side and you'll be able to see, let, let's, I, I haven't gotten anything to be able to cover this mundo over here, but we're, we're going to try it. Because the coverage is so good, what they suggest is that their foundations can be used for contour and concealer. The only issue is at this moment, because I am the lightest shade, there is no shade of concealer for me. But I mean... Look at me. I can I can literally go outside like this and be absolutely fine. Like I don't even really need concealer. And I'm sure once their their shade range opens up to the lighter side, I'll be able to get a concealer shade. Guys, like look at this. Look how clear my skin looks. Like right here, a little snippet of the video in the beginning just to see like the difference. Look at that. Look at the world. You can still see it because it's elevated, but you don't see any of that dark spot right there. My under eyes, everything is clean and it just looks like skin. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a foundation. I'm gonna go in with L20 and I'm gonna contour with this. And as you can see, it's like the perfect, when you wanna contour, you don't want a dark line across your face. What you're trying to do is enhance the shadows of your face. And I think people get confused with that because they want to make it so dark and so pronounced. But you're really only going for the effect of, of a shadow to give you more definition. So this one is perfect. If you are going to be L10, then this L20 is definitely going to be your more subtle contour shade. Okay? Okay? 
So we're just going to do that. And again, we're going to go in with our brush and we're just going to press that in. And look how it just gives me this really natural contour. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I just love the way it looks. I love the way it blends. I love how natural it looks. I want to make my contour even a little bit more defined. This is where I go in with my T20. And again, just a little bit. I don't want too much. And as you see, I'm lay layering in the same area. And it does not get cakey. Just You see how it just kind of darkened it up a little bit? Just gave me more definition, just a little more drama. And I'll take whatever's left and go on the forehead. And that's it. Your face is done. I can literally go outside like this. Put some mascara on, a lip gloss, and I'm, I'm good to go. I just look really natural. I don't look too done up, too made up. And if I did want to go the extra mile, you saw how I just put three layers in this one area. My foundation, the, t the L, what is it? I keep forgetting the numbers. The L20, the T20, and it's still really smooth and seamless. It doesn't look caked on. It just looks like my skin, but better. We're always aiming for the better part. So I think this concludes the um, review. I got really amazing products. I'm really happy to have gotten these foundations from them and to have joined in on their launch party. I definitely, definitely recommend that you try them out. And another great thing about their website, because they have so many shades, is you're able to order a sample pack so it will bring all their shades and a little sample of it so you're able to try out all their shades and see which one is yours before you go ahead and order return order return order return because they are only online right now so definitely check it out i'll have all the information down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one